Peak wedding season has arrived. But this year, traditional diamonds are facing a unique challenge. An increasing number of fiancés are wearing diamonds made in a laboratory rather than mined from Earth. Wedding planning website The Knot determined that more than one-third of nearly 12,000 U.S. couples purchased engagement rings with lab-made center stones last year. That's double the number from 2020. Joining us now in Studio 57 is Grant Mobley. He is a diamond expert and a jewelry and watch <laughs> editor for Only Natural Diamonds. Grant, welcome. So according to the Wall Street Journal, diamonds grown in a lab accounted for around 13 times more of the diamond jewelry sold globally in 2022 in comparison to 2015. So I wonder, is the reason why? Because these lab-made diamonds are just more affordable than the natural diamonds. Uh, well, you have to think about it. It's it's a brand new product, right? It hasn't been on the market for very long. Um, and so as with any new product that just entered the jewelry world, it's got to grow, right? It, it can't really just stay stay put. But I think it raises a more important question, which is misinformation. And it's really what consumers are being told about lab-grown diamonds is often very incorrect. Mm. A lot of people might say, oh, they're exactly the same as natural diamonds, or they're, let's say, they make what we call green claims that they're more environmentally friendly, but actually new research is showing that that's absolutely not the case. So uh, we're afraid that, you know, we obviously don't want consumers to purchase a lab-grown diamond thinking they're doing something that's green, when in fact it would be greener in most cases to buy a natural diamond. So. Mm. Well, we are very excited. Elena and I are very excited about what you brought. You brought some beautiful diamonds. I did. They're all real. But yes. maybe I could just try one on. Oh, please. While we're Absolutely. Talking. Go for it. I mean, Elena. For the story. For the story. Two yeah. segment. Yeah. These are all natural, but how would you tell if it wasn't? Oh, that's pretty. So, again, carats. I would say, contrary to popular belief, uh, natural diamonds and lab grown diamonds are completely distinguishable uh -huh. 100% of the time. Are they? Because that's not the common, you know, <laughs> conventional wisdom. Exactly. And so can you always tell with your naked eye? No. Of course, that's much more difficult. Yeah. Um, you can sometimes, but with the right, right, right uh, diamond detection device, it's actually very easy to tell the difference. Uh -huh. And as the, there's more and more lab-grown diamonds uh, in the marketplace, these diamond detection devices are getting a lot cheaper. Any retail jeweler is going to have one of these in their store so they can tell you, you know, what you've got immediately. You can even buy one of these detection devices on Amazon if you wanted to. Okay, so Take a look. I'm how, blinded how by the light. light. <laughs> I know, right? But, but what are some of the benefits, Grant, of actually buying a natural diamond over a lab-made diamond? Because, you know, cost is an issue for a lot of people, a reality for a lot of people. Absolutely. And I think, you know, it's really important to... To answer that question, it's really important to look back at the history of why we buy diamonds in the first place. Mm -hmm. So most people don't realize diamonds are between one and three billion years old, natural diamonds. And they were blasted towards the surface through these ancient volcanic eruptions that happened hundreds of millions of years ago. So it's that is part there. The, the way that they got to the surface is very unlike any other gem. And so that's really how diamonds have been embedded with this symbolism mm -hmm. throughout, you know, since they were discovered over 3,000 years ago. And that's really why people buy diamonds. So, you know, most often diamonds are purchased to celebrate love, to, you know, celebrate milestone occasions and things like that. And do you, would you really want to celebrate that with something that was just a copy? Right. You right. know, I think that, you know, and so I think consumers are finally starting to realize uh, that, uh, you know, it's, and it's very important, but you have to also think about value. Value right. is, there's a big difference in price and value. Well, speaking of price, yeah, how is inflation affecting the diamond market? And, you know, both of these that I have on are four to five carats. Mm -hmm. Any advice on how to get a good deal? Sure. I mean, you know, I like to first tell everybody to shop at a reputable jeweler, you know, talk to your friends, your family uh, for recommendations on things like that. That's your first step. Absolutely. Always, um, you know, and feel free to price shop. But, you know, keep in mind that your grading certificate for a diamond, those little numbers and letters on a piece of paper, that doesn't tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. It's important to get there and see your natural diamonds in person and really find the one that you fall in love with. And because a lot of people have in their mind that maybe they want something of extremely high color and clarity that may be more expensive, when in reality, there is a natural diamond in absolutely every price point. 
And believe, myself, uh, I've done this a million times, I've often fallen in love with the diamond, the natural diamond that wasn't even the most uh -huh. expensive or wasn't the highest color and clarity because it's the one that speaks to you. Mm -hmm. So I think first and foremost, you wanna go and have fun and try things on and talk to your, you know, your sales associate. You're there, you know, they're your expert. And so really listen to them. So I have a big party tonight. Can I borrow? Right. It's all yours. <laughs> these are, these are uh, from our friends at the Clear Cut. They were, they were nice enough them. to, yeah, they were nice enough to. I will give it back. Nice <laughs> try, Meg Oliver. Nice try. Grant Lovely Grant, thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for having me.